Hi there, my name's Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, today we're doing a video on Mitch's 2014 Scirocco 2 litre TDI. Now, these come out of the factory with a 177 brake, but we've got a little surprise today because when Mitch first bought this car, he contacted me and he was like, Scott, I need it to be tuned or mapped. How do I go about it? So we looked really on YouTube to find videos about these cars and we couldn't really find anything along the lines of TDI tuning boxes versus remaps. So today we're going to find out whether TDI tuning boxes or remaps are the best solution for the Scirocco. Now we have had the car dynoed and I'm going to show you the printout soon but I'm going to let Mitch tell you a little bit about how we come to buy this car. in Scirocco. Um, before I had this I uh, bought a Seat Leon for 5500 It was a 1.6 TDI SE DSG. It was only 110 brake standard. It were it was nippy but could have been could have been a lot more powerful obviously. Um, so after about a year of owning that car I could afford to get installed on a something with a bit more power. So I wanted to park exit and I looked at all sorts of cars, GTDs one series, um, stuff like that, and I thought, I don't really need a, f a five door car, and I, I, I seen this Sirocco in the garage, and so I ended up choosing this Sirocco, um, I wanted something that I could get a bit more power gains out of, uh, and I didn't really know how to go about it really, so I spoke to my friend Scott, and uh, we had a look on YouTube, and we found TDI tuning boxes, and obviously because it was still under warranty, we wanted to keep that really. So I thought TDI tuning box, you know, if anything goes wrong, take it off, take it back to the garage and won't you also be alright and all of that. So I went down the road to getting a TDI tuning box and I got it, it come, I fitted it, it was easy enough, simple really, simple installation. Um, went out in it, driving it, I was expecting power gains, didn't really feel any difference whatsoever apart from maybe the gear changes were slightly a little bit more snappy. Um, I took it to West Yorkshire tuning, threw it on the rolling road. And we didn't reach didn't reach the the power gains that we was expecting, so we got the dyno figures. Um, it didn't really reach expectations, so uh, I thought I'd just EGR delete it, DPF delete it, ECU remap and DSG remap to see what uh, power figures we could actually get. So the guy uh, West Yorkshire Tuning is called Bryn. Good guy, he's really nice guy. Um, he put it on the rolling road after tuning it. Um, to see what power we could get out of this car and she made quite a bit of power actually from what we was expecting um we're gonna jump in car now we'll take you for a quick drive we'll see how we'll see how it goes and we'll talk a bit through we've got the sheet so we'll talk you about we'll talk about the stock power it did actually make it's meant to be 177 from factory we'll talk about the stock power it did make we'll talk about the tdi tuning box power on the rolling rod what it made I'm going to get the video clips off Bruni, he's going to send them over to me so I can put them on for you all to see and um, we're going to talk about how much power this car actually made. So 
So we went up to, so Mitch rang me this morning, we went up to um, West Yorkshire Tuning up in Bradford to meet Bryn to pick the car up after he'd spent two days on on the car, he's done the EGR delete, the DPF delete and the remap and um, we actually got the paperwork back for the car, now the paperwork's here, me and Mitch, when Mitch bought this car, we every, basically everyone goes onto YouTube to see what power figures you can get out of cars because people have mapped them before and filmed it and we wanted to know basically what power we were, we were expecting from the car but there was no videos on TDI tuning boxes first remaps so what were the what were the company called it were TDI tuning TDI tuning yeah. they were TDI tuning doing the tuning boxes for these cars the one Mitch picked was the one for the DSG gearbox and the 177 brake 2 litre TDI Scirocco which is the car that we're in today now how much did you pay for that box? roughly 400 about 400, yeah. about 400 pound postage and stuff like that. Yeah. So he's paid 400 pound for a tuning box. And these are the figures that the car made. I've got the, the full sheet here. I will put them up for you to see. So stock test one. This car has 177 brake. Stock test one, the car made 181.2 brake horsepower with 306.8 foot-pounds of torque stock test 2 the car made 181 brake flat at, at 306.1 foot-pounds of torque now Brina West Yorkshire Tuning says is going to run the TDI tuning box on the highest stage which is stage 8 is it? 7, Sta seven. yeah stage 7 and it's going to dyno it again just to see what the TDI tuning box actually does in power wise so TDI tuning box test one it ran 194.7 brake horsepower with 325.9 foot pounds of torque tuning box test two it ran 194 brake horsepower with 323 foot pounds of torque now what were the figures on the website for the TDI tuning box the Figures on the what the TDI tuning said that I'd get from adding the box on was 235 bhp, which is a lot really. It's about the same as a as a, a proper remap. So I thought, yeah, sounds good. Give it a try. So you spent nearly enough 400 quid on a TDI tuning box, expecting to produce 232 brake, was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And how much foot pounds of torque are meant to be? 490. 490 foot pounds of torque. Now that wasn't the case, were it? No, definitely not. So what happened there? I put the box on and I didn't feel any difference whatsoever to be honest. I thought the gear changes felt a little bit more snappy, that was it. That didn't really make any difference in power gains, I didn't feel. And that's the reason why you ranked Brina West Shocks tuning. That's it, yeah, exactly that. So they were the tuning box figures. Now, TDI tuning, say you get the figures, and that is proof there that you, you don't get the figures. The numbers do not lie. After after the tuning box rolling road, what I did is, I put it on the rolling road, after the DPF and EGR delete, he tuned the DSG gearbox, and he tuned the ECU, and these are the power figures he made. So West Yorkshire tuning test one, these are the powers the car made. It ran 219.1 horsepower at 355 foot pounds of torque. Now, it did a second run. The second run was 220 brake horsepower at 353 foot pounds of torque. The extra little bit of power took off a little bit of torque, so he fine tuned it and he said it'd be better at 219.1 horsepower. Now, this car, I drove this car when Mitch first got it, the day he got this car, I, I jumped in there and I took this car for a spin, and it was fairly all right, it was quick. The only thing I didn't rate was the downshift, which when I had the GTD before, a couple of years ago, I had that out on higher, and that was exactly the same. It just would not downshift properly. Like, 
because I've driven golf cars as well, I think I'm kind of trying to compare them to a golf R, but I know it's not, but yeah, you do, don't you? That's, that's what you do. So they're the power figures of what this car run. So if you're looking to go buy a TDI tuning box, don't bother because you're going to get the nine. Time. Waste of money, waste of, waste of effort, everything. Yeah, there you go. It's just a waste of time. Don't bother doing it. You're getting 19 brake horsepower and about 20 foot pound of torque. It's ridiculous how they're even getting away with still selling them. They say they're in, they tune them on tracks, but they don't. So 220 brake, 219 brake. What do you think to it? Yeah, it feels a lot feels a lot better from the standard anyway, a lot better than the TPI tuning box as well. Big difference. Completely transformed the car if I'm honest. No, I've, I've, I've owned this car for about three months now and uh, it is perfect for what I need really. I do a lot of quite a lot of long journeys so it's not bad on fuel and stuff. Uh, obviously I've only had it remapped today so I'm not too sure what it'll be like from now. It should be fairly decent though, it is a diesel, like it's, it's not it's not the world's fastest skyline, do you know what I mean? It, it is a diesel and they are kind of quick when you want them to be. Um, that's just in drive at the moment, in comfort, traction still turned on. The good when you're on the motorway, it's not gonna drink diesel, it's not like a petrol tune, it's, it's not gonna drink fuel, it's an economical car. Now I followed Mitch back from West Yorkshire Tuning in Bradford back to Leeds where, where we're from and I was in my Golf GTI, we had a little play, this car is, is quick, my car is still running, not correct, it needs the divert valve putting on, you'll see in the next video on my car, I'm not going to talk too much but it will be going to West Yorkshire Tuning to get tuned because I like what he's done with this car. Um, yeah, I followed Mitch back from West Yorkshire Tuning and this car's quick. There was a, what was it, a Focus ST? Yeah. Yeah, there was a Focus ST. We were just, we were just having a little play out way back and a Focus ST decided to join us, didn't he? Um, you gave him a good one for his money though, didn't you? Yeah, of course. This car is, is fairly quick, I'm not going to lie. I don't, you won't pulling away from him, but it, it won't catch him down no. by a long shot. Yeah. Are they 2.5s as well? Yeah, they're um, yeah, the 2.5 turbos then. I think they're running around, is it around 250 brake? Like Off top of me, I just I haven't, I haven't really looked into them. I know the older one runs 225 brake. That's a, that's a, that's a 2.5 as well. Oh, is the new one a 2 litre? 64 litre one. It might even be a 2 litre 60 volta, but I'm not too sure. Like, I've not looked into them whatsoever. But uh, yeah, he, he, were, he were giving it some. I, I was stuck to the back of him. He was stuck to the back of Mitch. But yeah, he, he, was, he was a hairy one, wasn't he? He was a hairy one, that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah. What do you think to the short car then? Like day to day, living with it every yeah, day? Well, I've had it for about three months now, so yeah, I've, I've, I've learned all this. Uh, Sections and all these pros and cons, and to be honest, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. I do this yeah. car, it, it handles so much better than, than my previous cars. Just feels so planted on the road. It's got a little bit wider wheel base, and that Leon, um, yeah, the Leon's like I've drove Dex Leon, I'm gonna try and get a video on that car soon. Um, I've drove Dex Leon, Dex Leon is exactly the same, the back end is so light on them. You get a lot of lift off obviously in them cars and I don't know why because the golfs don't do it and it's the same chassis, it yeah. must be set up differently. But yeah, what are the pros with this car? What, what do you like the best about this car? So yeah, the... So the pros about this car are... The pros? What pros do you like about this car? I love the DSG gearbox in this car. It, it works fantastic uh, even when it's in the automatic, in the drive mode. It does everything that I wanted to do really unlike my Leon. My Leon just wanted to mess them all up and down with the gears all the time, didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, the handling in this car is fantastic. I don't think I've driven a better handling car yet. Um, is this a 7 speed gearbox? 6 speed. And the Leon was a 7 speed one, it? Yeah, yeah, 7 speed. So, yeah, that's why the Leon will probably up and down the gears a lot more. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I love this car. It's serving me well so far. And now with this increased power gains, yeah, it feels, feels real nice, real, real nippy and that. There is a few cons about this car. Um, like it being a three door. But for someone like me, don't, I'm, I don't really bothered for a five door. I only live with my missus, we haven't got kids at all. The back seats don't even get used. Uh, so yeah, not really an issue for me, but for some people it might be a problem that. Um, another con about this car is you can't get wind effects because the windows are frameless. Yeah, they are. Um, um, which I think wind effects are really practical for certain reasons. I'm a bit upset that I can't get them. Um, but you can't oh. get the popcorn limiter either. Yeah, that's another thing. Another thing you can't do is get a popcorn limiter on this car because of the DSG gearbox. Yeah, DSG. That's another comp that you didn't like about this car, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, like, the, the pros are where the cons though, like, you don't have kids. It's just you and your missus. The boot space is, is fairly large. Yeah, it's quite a big boot to be fair. It's economical. You travel up and down the motorway to work because you work on building sites up and yeah, down yeah. the UK. Um, the pros are where the cons really this car compared to the Leon. The Leon, I didn't drive the Leon but when we was in Wales and we were going to pick up the, the parts for the motorbikes, it was, the gear changes were not what you want there. Like, yeah. it, they were jumpy, it, it was up and down the gears every two minutes. If you were, as soon as you touch the accelerator, it dropped about four gears, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it just will not for a lad like yourself who wants a bit of power behind his foot, you don't want, do you know what I mean? You want something like this, you don't, you don't want to lay on there, do you? Right, so we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a quick 0 to 60 run on a 60 mile an hour road. And so, so yeah, yeah, so go control when you're ready. Off. It's just a quick app that we've just downloaded now, see what it does. Manual. Manual. Shall I launch it off? No, nah, no, nah, yeah, whatever, go for it. Yeah. claim it does not 62 in 8.1 seconds I will start that for the video
don't feel like you're gonna fly off the road. Like I don't know. It's, I think it's with a with a wide chassis. It's a lot different in passengers. I'm not going to take this because it's not my car, but... Do you know what I mean? If it were my car, I'd be planning well here. Do you know what I mean? But I don't want to scare me in his car. Because he, when he's driving, he flies life out of me. <laughs> now I've got kids and that, all I'm thinking about is, will the car stop? Will it stop? Do you know what I mean? Like, before, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, keep it going, keep your foot to the floor. The brakes, the brakes in this, the whole like, the sharp, um, after a good hour or so of driving and they get really hot, the Collaborates for it to go straight on with, um, with carriers and that, Sean do because it's the same hubs, same wheel bearings and that thing. Mitchell and Pirate Sport 4s are holding it together. Before we got them on, it talks to you. It talks to you, yeah. It's a slight bit of wet on the board here, just to pull this here. It's got that bit of turbo on. This car's quick. Really quick. Uphill. It's pulling. And it gears down as well, as he didn't do that before. Gear not way down to five grand for, it, for, it, for a diesel, they only go to five grand yeah. anyway. Yeah, man. So he does know what he's doing, like especially with Germans, he's got a 335 DX drive on a 2014, I think that's mapped, what's that running, 420? 450 I think. 450 and his other one's running just over 500 isn't it? So he, the guy does know what he's doing with these cars. And I'm going to let him, uh, I'm going to let him do my Golf GTI as well. And um, I'll film that as well. I'll try. He said I could come up if I'm on my own, and I could film with him as long as I stay within the, the guidelines, the two meter guidelines. Um, I need to get my parts on the car. As soon as my parts on the car, I can do it. I'm just waiting for them to be delivered. The delivery service is holding back because I think they're overrun with deliveries due to the coronavirus. I like 
can't, it just gears down. As soon as you press the button, it boom, gears down straight away from like that. Before you'd wait, have to wait half a second, or if it wasn't at the right rev rate. What was that? It's got full service car, hasn't it? Yeah, full service system, but I don't think it's ever actually hard. I don't know if they're doing just with, with the normal big services, I don't know if they just include it anyway. But other oh, than that, I don't think it'll be one if not. I don't think the gearbox will be in service. Um, just have a look through your paperwork, mate. Um, not all you can do, and I'd just send it in anyway for a gearbox service, yeah. just because it's been mapped. I think climbing van on the probably June, isn't it? Mm, diesel, I don't know, you'll have to look in your service history. Someone will probably comment. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up there. Um, yeah, shout out, man, to Bryn. Um, yeah, from West Yorkshire Tuning, man. He's done a, a fantastic job. Um, he's on Facebook, West Yorkshire Tuning, if you want to get in touch with him. Um, the videos he's going to send me across. Um, it probably will be two or three days until these videos uploaded. So hopefully I'll have them in time. Yeah, um, do you want to say all? No, man, um, not really. Um, I'm tired now, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mitch's on social a, media as well. Yeah, uh, uh, Bryn's done a good job, man. He's done a good job with the car. Yeah, I'm mean? happy with it, I think, yeah. I'm happy. I'm going to send him my golf and see what power I can get out of that. I'm hoping for 250, 255. Um, like I said before, Dex's running at 250, Greg's running at 230. I'm just standing at 200, but yeah, good. Good map, this car, man. But yeah, we'll wrap the video up there. Um, like, share, subscribe. It means a lot. It helps. Thanks to Mitch for letting me drive the car. And um, yeah, peace out.